stars. I ain't know till today that in 2022, MSN was forced to remove a story about William and Kate's separation. There was at the time a royal kerfuffle when MSN published an article claiming that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge had separated. MSN's source material seemed to be, again, a foreign language French news story in which palace sources claimed William and Kate fought and Kate packed her bags and took the kids to Buckleberry. The actual story was believable enough, and it's not crazy to think that Kate regularly packs her bags and takes the kids to Carol's house. We've also seen a covert separation happening between William and Kate for a few years. The shadiness of the Queen lending the Sandringham main house to William. The whole move to Windsor weirdness. In any case, MSN deleted their story and eventually their much-shared tweet. Newsweek contacted MSN and the French news site about what had happened. Prince William and Kate Middleton have been hit by a fake breakup rumor picked up and spread by MSN.com. There is nothing to suggest the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are experiencing marital problems and they appeared happy together during a visit to Scotland on May 11th. However, an article on a French language news website wrongly suggested Kate had walked out with the couple's three children. The website's publisher told Newsweek. MSN.com then ran a translation hosted on its own website while a link to the story was posted to its 227,600 Twitter followers on May 17th. Outlandish conspiracies about the British royal family appear in the world's media from time to time, but what is notable about this example is the role MSN.com played in giving the story the potential to reach a mass audience in Britain and America. A spokesperson for Group Cerise, which owns the French news site, told Newsweek, The story is indeed false and has been published by accident. We are taking it down momentarily. MSN.com eventually deleted its story after being approached for comment by Newsweek. Newsweek also reached out to Kensington Palace for comment. It is unclear whether the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will call in their lawyers over the bizarre rumor. Now, there are tons of conspiracies about lawyers being called and strings being pulled, and that kind of thing absolutely happens. We know it happens. Journalists speak openly about it. But this one just seems too minor to really be part of some big conspiracy. Why would William waste what little capital he has on going full blast on MSN and some French news magazine? He will need that capital in the future. It's far more likely that some lowly communications person at Kensington Palace was merely tasked with calling up someone who then called up someone else, and MSN removed the story, no questions asked. Wiglet Watcher says, Only because of the Middletons has it been a major issue that millions of tax funds have been invested in privately owned residences to house Kate, the cottage, her parents' home, and who knows where else. William has also taken private residences, but it gets covered less, like during his bespoke cert program where he lived separately from Kate after she had George. Much is done to hush the locals and prevent pics of Kate frequently visiting her family for extended stays. The locals do talk about being frustrated with the protocols. Beck's one comments, We don't need to know if William is at Sandringham while Kate is at Anmer or whatever. It only becomes an issue when they need to renovate a house using private funds because William and Kate don't have any private funds. That's why I think the, quote, move to Windsor stories are being pushed like they are because they want the public to accept the move so they accept the money for renovations. Both sides now adds, I think it's more of an attitude of take, not accept, 
any chance of these freeloaders scamming money off the taxpayers is their first priority. Oh, I meant so the public accepts the money for renovations. So if they accept that William and Kate are moving to Windsor, then William and Kate using millions to renovate is kind of the next step, right? Saba adds, I think this is Kate and Carol purposefully leaking to a small foreign outlet to give Baltimore a taste of what's to come if the British royal family don't hurry up and give Kate her proper Windsor separate living home. I bet she's demanding it be fit for the future king and is planting stories of the grander homes, whereas Will is replying with all the stories about the run-down cottages. LOL, I get the feeling they're beyond speaking and being civil and only communicating with passive-aggressive leaks. Wow. That's fascinating. That was 2022, and then 2023 we know is when certain rumors about Valentine's Day and a rose and a pearl necklace were printed in foreign press. And now here we are in 2024 with many health emergencies and a weeks-long disappearance for all of our eyes not to see. You know what I mean? Like, I get I get that people... Th- sort of have their private interactions and affairs, but this is certainly very interesting timing and very interesting specifics. Alice adds, I've posted this before, but what did the Cambridges and Prince Charles think was going to happen? Charles has sidelined his siblings and their kids. William and Kate ran off Harry and Meghan They are now the only game in town. Their kids won't be old enough to feed the press for another seven to eight years. Harry can only be scapegoated for so long now that he's gone. Andrew is a nightmare, but again, Andrew's days in the limelight are numbered. Once Elizabeth goes, I'm sure Charles will make a deal to ensure he will effectively disappear. Parentheses, money. When the Rhoda gets hungry, the Cambridges are going to be eaten alive. Blythe adds, Alice, my guess, as many others have said, is that it never, ever occurred to William that Harry would leave. I don't think William is capable of thinking through multiple possibilities like that. So in his mind, perhaps Meghan would disappear back to America and she and Archie wouldn't be functional members of the family. Then Harry could continue to focus on being kind to Kate and being William's scapegoat. Wow. Fascinating. Hmm. Seashell opines. Yes, this was too juicy to be true, but the quickness of the Kensington Palace mobilization proves yet again that false news can be addressed effectively, and the palaces just refuse to mobilize for the Sussexes. Anyway, This is Jack Royston, who gets my side eye pretty often. His bias skates pretty close to the journalistic edge when it comes to reporting on the Lambridges and Sussexes in particular. KFG comments, true stories are taken down. Look how they got the Rose Hanbury story removed and Kate's Botox and Wiglet hair extension stories removed, both of which are true. When it's really false... They don't usually jump to try to crush it so quickly. Seashell adds, when it's false in their favor, they never take action. That's true. I kind of agree with Kaiser's view that incandescent fights and Kate bugging out to Buckleberry with the kids are probably ongoing episodes. The story, quoting someone in the household about the fight that led to that episode, is quite likely based in truth. The other breadcrumbs about their living arrangements, especially the various iterations about the move to Windsor are far more indicative of a long-term arrangement, in my opinion. Cecily comments with how fast this was removed leads me to believe it hit very close to the truth and made some people very uncomfortable. Those leaks about the Sussexes dried up and times are hard. Those palace sources and people close to have to adhere to the terms of the invisible contract and make a living somehow. Leaks pay big. 